We are at the month, we are finishing the month of January, and I'm thanking God that we are finishing it strong. Amen. Thank God to see you in the house of the Lord. And one of the things I pray about and always hope is that there will be none of us on the altar. It will only be Jesus' people. Amen. Can you raise your hand? Let's do something quickly. I just love it. Let's raise your hand in the air and say, I am a new creation. <laughs> say it again. Say, I am a new creation. I am deeply loved. Completely forgiven. Totally accepted. Absolutely complete. In Jesus Christ. Say it again. It says, I am completely forgiven. Say, I am complete in Jesus. Amen. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Then look and say, I love Jesus. I love his word. I love his people. And I love to be in his presence. Amen. This morning, as I venture out to minister the word of God, I pray that the uh, this what you see happen here was part of the sermon already, amen. It's called an open door, amen. Turn with me if you can to the book of Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1. Glory to God. I had to change everything because God is just doing what he's doing, amen. Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1 has a tremendous insight into the spiritual area, amen. If you have... Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. I would love for God's people, if you could stand, stand. If you can't stand, I understand. Amen. But it's always good, you know, when I go to the courtroom, and if you've been there, when the, when the judge comes in, everybody has to stand. Amen. Is that true? And if you go to a, a dignitary comes in a place, you got to stand up. Wherever the word of a king is, there is power. And the word that you have is not just the word of a king, but it's the word of the king of kings. So the absolute power, the amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for putting this in place this morning. Read with me in the year 2024 on this day. And after this, I looked. And behold, a door was open. <clears throat> I wish some of you could understand what your spiritual eyes have to see in 2024. Amen. And after this, I looked. And behold, a door was open. For who? In heaven. Where? In heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as if it were a trumpet talking with who? Catch this right now. This is for you. Amen. God is wanting to talk to you through some stuff here this morning. Amen. Feel the anointing on somebody with me here this morning. God's going to speak to you. Maybe some voices are high, but God's going to turn the volume up a little higher to speak to you a little higher so that you could drown the enemy voice in your head this morning. Amen. There is a trumpet song that is going to happen here this morning. Amen. The Bible says, and the trumpet was talking with me and said, come up here, come up higher, and I will show you these things what must be hereafter. And verse 2 says, immediately, somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> Tell somebody you can't go into that door without the spirit. Amen. Amen. And immediately I was in the spirit. I was where? And behold, a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. Say only one sits on the throne. Amen. I'm preaching organic this morning. Is that okay with you? Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. I want to just open that a little again. For you may know I'm going with this. And it says, um, those of you who know numbers, I, 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 I love to, to see the typology sometimes. But eight trees are what? Last time I checked, eight by three is how much? 
And 3 by 8 is what? 24. So let's see what Revelation 3 verse 8 says. Let's read that together. Amen. It says, Behold, no, uh, I know thy works. God talking now. Behold, I have set before you, or thee, and what kind of door? And no man can, but thou have a little strength, but you are kept my word and has not denied my name. Father, we lift our hands and holy hands that is to the holy heavens and we declare right now uh, that he does have ears to hear. Let him hear what the spirit is saying in these times. Uh, I pray under the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now that the eyes of the understanding be open uh, and that you will acknowledge that you are not sitting in a church but you are sitting in a heavenly places uh, and you are sitting hallelujah hearing the divine word of God that will change your life forever and while I minister on this altar healing will take place supernatural natural events will take place. Uh, unexplained right now. Lift your hand, believe, and receive in the faith. Uh, receive by faith an open door in your life. Uh, I declare uh, what God has opened, no man can close. Uh, I declare that every hand that is on that door right now trying to push you down, uh, God has opened up a door for you. Hallelujah. A door of hope, a door of encouragement, uh, a door that is hallelujah. You have had troubles. Uh, you have been having in the years gone by. Uh, doors have been shutting in your faces. Uh, I speak into somebody here right now. Uh, the enemy has been shutting doors uh, and he has been strategically giving you, hallelujah, disappointment after disappointment uh, and failure after failure. But this year God is saying, hallelujah, you have gone a little higher in your praise. Uh, you have gone a little higher in your faith. Uh, you are doing a little thing higher, hallelujah. And because you are a little higher today, uh, he says I'm going to open a door. Uh, you have had little strength. Uh, you had little hope. Uh, you had little faith. Uh, but now God is opening a door uh, that no man can shut, hallelujah. No no devil can shut hallelujah and in the spirit world uh, I'm saying this to you this morning uh, lift your hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah say my door is open in 2024 say God has opened a door for me amen if you're not in the spirit I want you to hear this message still, still because it's important say again it says doors are open for me in 2024 wow. It's not by might, not by power, it's by my spirit, said the Lord. I want you, if you have your wallets on your purses, just raise it up in the air. Says doors are open, bank accounts are open, things are opening up in my name, businesses are open up. I, I came to prophetically speak to this church. I didn't come to do church. I came to speak into dead bones. I come to talk to you in the valley. I come to talk to somebody, hallelujah, to tell you, hallelujah, that God, amen, has opened up a door that no man can shut, hallelujah. I've come to let you know, hallelujah, that there is power in what you're doing, amen. There's power in your mouth. There's power in your praise. There's power in your prayer. There's power in your worship. There's power in what you're doing here today. And if you believe, I say hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. See if you can see, see if you can sit down today in service. See if you can sit down. Try and see if popcorn doesn't pop you off. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 2024, there is preservation in revelation. You want to be, you want to have preservation, you want to be safe, have a revelation. Amen. Amen. There's power in revelation. Hallelujah. I know what I'm saying. Revelation is the illumination of your spirit. When the word of God is much more a book, is more than religion. When the word of God, revelation can come to you while you're driving the car. Revelation comes to you while you're cooking the food. Revelation can come to you, hallelujah, by two means. It's by his spirit and by the word. And if you have the word in your heart, the spirit of God will make the word come alive. And by hearing the word of God, it will transfer you from one dimension into the other. Are anybody hearing me here this morning? Because the word of God transports you from one dimension onto the other. Amen. One moment you could be stuck 
on an island of Patmos. One moment you could have snakes around you. One moment you could be surrounded with a death sentence that nobody says that you're going to come out of that. And then suddenly in the spirit, their eyes open up and there is a voice say, come a little higher. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Give God the praise, hallelujah, in the year 2024. Amen. This is no longer time to play and be lukewarm. Amen. Lukewarm Christianity is out of, uh, what is a better word? It is outdated. Amen. That's yesterday Christianity. Amen. What you could have gotten away last year, you will not get away this year. What you had slipped in by this year, God has opened a door for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me go quickly into the things. How many of you uh, use a lot of doors before you reach here? Anybody? <laughs> Some people, as they get up in the morning, they went from the bedroom door to the bathroom door. From the bathroom door, am I following anybody? Some come from creature on the bathroom door, they went to the kitchen door. I know, and I don't know what a door you have. And you came to the whatever door, the closet door. And from the closet door, amen, you went and picked your clothes out, fixed yourself up, went through the, your main door. From the main door, you went to your car door, amen. Am I there with you, amen? I'm just preaching organic. Is that okay for you, amen? And then you went from that car door, and then from there you went into the church door. But that is, it have more than more than you know. There's another door that is open over you. It's a door of heaven. Give me praise and glory. You know how to go through door. So why don't you step up and go through the heavenly door? Amen. I will enter his gates with what? With what? And with what? All right, amen. That's the only way to enter. You could come to church and sit there, and you could sit on your praise, or you can walk through the door. Amen. 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 You're getting this, amen. amen. Revelation chapter 3 is a very dear book because it has two churches typology, and we don't want to go into a big, uh, there's a Wednesday night class teaching. There are things that you need to learn. Amen. If you're looking for elevation in your revelation, you need to understand your salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have an invitation at least for a celebration. You can't outrun me now, you know. <laughs> Amen. But the point is, how many of you are desiring for something higher in your life? Can I see you? Because there are some people, they just don't want to go more. They say, I've done enough. I've preached enough. I went to church enough. But how many know there's more to this Christian life uh, than just sitting down waiting for death? Hallelujah. Or somebody to do a good funeral for you. I asked a lady once. I said, why do you go to so much funeral service? She said, who will come to mine? I said, but how would you know they come to yours? Because you're not here. Amen. Friends, the Bible made something clear to me. I, I, somebody asked me a question once and asked me what Christianity is and I thought about it and we had a, a thought in my head and I said, Christianity have a lot of uh, uh, definition, it's Christ, like whatever. But for me, Christianity is dead people coming alive. Right. Say it again to the people here. Christianity is dead people coming alive in Christ. Dead in trespasses, dead in sin, dead in life and God made you alive, Amen. Let the living lift their hand and praise in this morning. Yeah. Let the people who never see shut doors. Uh, I want to prophesy over you this morning before I go forward. Just lift your hand and say, uh, there are no shut doors for me. You say, say they can't shut the door on me this time. Uh, the employer can't shut the door on you. Promotion cannot be shut up. Uh, the doors, amen, uh, of hope. The doors of prayer. The doors are open wide over you. Hallelujah. The doors of the blessing of the Lord. Amen. 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 So we go into the word this morning and Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 encourages us to first understand that this is the only church that did not have a, a, a red mark or an X against their name. They had difficult times and there were most of the churches we heard uh, our pastor mention or uh, remember your first love of Ephesus. We hear different things we hear but this church has a particular uh, unique uh, uh, attributes by God. There are no red marks, no X's against it. Somebody say amen. amen. 
the church was named Philadelphia. Amen. And I'm not talking about the place, Philadelphia. <laughs> it was known as a church of love. Amen. Where there is a loving people, God will give his revelation to. You got to love his word. You got to love his spirit. You got to love to do the things of God. When you begin to love on God, God will reveal things to you. Amen. God doesn't reveal things to people who just want to sit down there. You got to love on God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. When you begin to love the word, how many love his word? Amen. Amen. I'm going to challenge you this morning. How many love the word? Amen. All right. Let me see. So a few people love the word because the word of God, amen, is not a book. Oh. The word of God is not a book. The word of God is a person. In the beginning was, uh, and the word was made, and the word did what? And the word was walking with them. And the word was talking with them. And the word was what? Opening doors for them. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. How many know the word is not a person, but the, I mean the word is not a book, but it's a person. If you understand, the word is with me. The word is made flesh. The word dwells in me. Oh, I'm just getting excited, but I'm going to hold back. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Hmm. The word. The word. It's not a bunch of, of letters and whatever. A lot of people, ah, they get it missing. I love the word because it's a person. It's Jesus Christ. Somebody say, open doors. When there is a revelation, the Bible says that, that, uh, that it says, I will open a door. The year 2024 in the Jewish calendar, and you'll see it in the booklet, that I've produced, that some of you are going to have, it talks about an open door. Somebody say amen. amen. Are, you, are you ready for deeper stuff? I mean, what deeper stuff and deeper life? Say it again. So I want deeper stuff. You see, when you, when you want milk, it means that you could, milk of the word means that you could do a little clap, a little dance, a little praise the Lord and prance and go home, and there's nothing in your heart. You're still empty. So you come like you get a drug, uh, you get a, a, addicted to a, a worship, but when you have the word in you, your revival goes on of the doors. Uh, and your revival keeps going on because the word keeps revealing and keep revealing and keep revealing. And even while the pastor is preaching, the Holy Spirit is talking to you right now. Somebody say hallelujah. Because you have the word in you. Hallelujah. And the word in you is just jumping up. Amen. Because the word of God is made alive in you. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 12, the word of God is quick. It is powerful. It is sharper than a two-edged sword. It has the ability to pierce, cut asunder, joints and marrows. And is a healer and a discerner of the thoughts. Give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. The word of God. That's why the enemy cannot resist the word of God. He may try to block it, but he can't stop it. Amen. Amen. In the scriptures, the word of God has to have a greater uh, indulgence with the church. Because a lot of people are compromising and allowing the enemy to change the word so that they can suit their lifestyle. I don't know where I'm going, Lord, but I'm holding your hands. <laughs> there are so many people like to hear the part that sounds good, but the door of God doesn't only swing one way, it swings both ways. Somebody say hallelujah, amen. It's salvation is one thing, joy sing, but there is another side to the door. Somebody say amen. amen. Are you hearing me? Oh, yeah. the, this church is a mark by the Holy Spirit. To be an open door to Okoye and for anybody who comes here. Amen. Once there's an open door, there's a refreshing from heaven. Amen. Amen. So we go into the word and we look at a very powerful statement that Paul is talking. He rejoices at the same time he's weary in First Corinthians, I believe, chapter, let me check, 16, verse 9. I'm not sure, but I'm just calling it. See if that is found there. Anybody has that? 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. I'm not going to take too long. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. Paul is rejoicing and he's, he's at the same time he is, he's, in a, he's in a place that he knows open doors mean something else. Open doors doesn't mean opportunity. In First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. Anybody have it? Uh, you want to read it for me? Just read it for me. Help me. A great door was open, effective. A great door, an effectual is open unto who? Me. Get ready now. But there are many. There are many what? Touch somebody, so not everybody's happy when your doors are open. Not everybody wants to see you uh, come out of what you're in. Uh, not everybody wants to see you come out. And you'll be amazed to know uh, that the kind of people want to shut doors on you. Give God the praise, hallelujah. Because I came to preach this morning. I came to tell you, hallelujah. Your open door attracts adversaries. How many can agree with that? Sometimes you never know that that was an adversary when you start telling them about how God has opened this door for you and you were once in the job and the job was so hard and then God opened a promotion and then you see the face kind of change and they say, how could you get I for years I'm here and I'm not moving, I'm stuck because you know what? They don't understand that when you had a little faith and a little strength, you kept God's word. If you can stay on what God say and not stray, God will make a way. You get it? If you could only stay on what God say and do not stray or play, you will see God make a way. Lift your hand and say, I'm staying on what God say. I'm a uh, he says, I got I to gotta open door this year. I don't care how many people shut doors. Uh, heaven is open over me. Uh, there's a spirit, an invisible door. Hallelujah. That when I walk in that dimension, hallelujah, I walk in the authority of God. Are you hearing the word of the Lord today? Amen. 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 There are many adversaries. Say with me, adversaries. It didn't say adversary. It didn't say one because we could equivalent to one particular person. We said the devil is our adversary, whatever. But it said adversaries. That it means that when a door is open. Now, I want to speak to you under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Don't get carried away thinking that this is a door for money or the door of opportunity. This is a door for the gospel to be preached. This is not for you to, to, to walk into the bank and say, no. This is a door for you to preach the gospel. Yeah. The greatest event on the universe right now is that this gospel will be preached from the, from the North Pole to the South Pole. Yeah. To every creature. And when that happens, then my Lord will appear. Amen. Yeah. That's a witness. He said, let this gospel. How many love the gospel of Jesus Christ? Amen. I, I, let me go into somebody's uh, little corner right now and say to them, sorry, the door is not from, for you. The door is for the glory of God. You get it? Somebody lift your hand and says the door is for the glory of God. That the earth will be filled. Uh, that the earth will be filled with his glory. Uh, that the praise like what happened this morning. Uh, you think, you really think that this was planned? You really think that you sitting now was a planting? Uh, oh, you should lift your hand and say, God, you know your plans are higher than mine. Uh, and I'm so grateful that I left a bedroom. Uh, and I closed the door behind and I entered into your house. Hallelujah. I had a little strength. Some of you witnessed with me. Uh, you wasn't feeling so well this morning. Uh, your body was feeling so well. The sugar level was fluctuating. The financial situation not so well. There was an argument at home. The boss pressure you whole day. But you lift up your head and say, hey, it's Sunday morning and I'm going to the house of the Lord. I have a little faith. I have a little faith. I have a little strength. But I'm going to the house of the Lord. I'm going to enter into his gates. You ain't know what I went through this week. But I'm praising him. I'm worshiping him. I'm serving him and as I'm open up the door come sister come sister we had a prayer and fire on Thursday right I didn't know oh the sisters were here we had a powerful time what happened to you on Sunday what happened to you in Tulum morning church 
I, I was having such a sort of pain in my knee. I, I, could, I could hardly walk. I could hardly pull up my pants. And my husband had to help me many times. And I, Thursday morning, I walked in here with a brace, but I didn't want it to come up with amongst the others because I didn't want them to see me with it. And <laughs> because I had to wear it outside. I couldn't wear it underneath. And it, Pastor Sam, Sam was praying. And, and we, he asked us to stand up. And then I noticed I didn't feel the pain again because it was a terrible pain because they wanted to do surgery. And I didn't want to go back to do surgery again on it. And I, I, can, I went out Saturday to walk, and I could do everything, and I'm, I'm fine now. And I know God has healed me from cancer also, and I can say that our God lives and he reigns. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Amen. I want to do something to, you know how many times we came to church, our brother was telling me, how many times we came to church, and you're feeling good, but the presence of God did something, but you forget. And two, three weeks after, two, three days, I said, wait now, didn't I have a pain? Didn't I have something niggling on me? Didn't I have something that I couldn't move? And if you trace your healing, you'll find it right in the presence of the Lord. Trace it back to Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. When you were praising, God was raising. Amen. Uh, when you were lifting hands that couldn't lift, God raised it up. Hallelujah. Come on. Uh, hey, let's do this quickly. Say, I've got a life of God in me. Say, I've got the life of God in me. Open your door of your mouth. Says, I've got the life of God in me. It flows in every vein, every tissue, every organ. The life of God in me is flowing to the heart door, to the gates. Hallelujah. Open up the gates. Open up the gates. Let the life of God flow. Hallelujah. Let the life of God flow in your vein. Let it flow in your body. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? So now when you do that, say, now, because i got the life of God in me. I can do what he says I can do. I can have what he says I can have. I can go where he says I can go. No devil going to stop me now. God has opened a door for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let little strength. Don't let little strength stop you. Amen. I need to give that testimony because so many people are afraid. They could, they could get the, they could get the, 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 you know, there's a woman. The Bible sister was talking about the, the, the woman was coming to the meeting nobody preached to her nobody told her she just had this revelation she had a revelation that if she could but just touch there she had no other choice because all she had was spent the physician says it's over her mind says it's over amen am i talking to anybody you know what i'm saying but she had a revelation with a determination uh, to move out of her frustration. Amen. Uh, are you hearing me? Hallelujah. And I know I'm talking to somebody. Uh, let somebody say, my revelation uh, has a determination uh, that I am coming out of this tribulation uh, and I'm going to go to LEV. Are you hearing me? Because when you begin to understand uh, that your determination... Let me just say something to you. When a man... Or woman sees the future, you can't drown them or bury them in the present. Because I've seen it. That's what God has done. He says, I'm going to show you a glimpse of what is to come. So nothing on the earth can stop you from going forward. Amen. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. When you have, you see, you see, so, so the, 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 the revelation is very simple. It's just preaching, preaching, preaching. But I am just hoping that somebody catch this. Amen. How many have a determination, amen? No matter how many times that you have been stopped in the year 20, before 2024. How many times you try and the business fail? How many times you write the exam and you never pass? How many times, how, how am I talking to anybody here? How many times you made an attempt and oh, this year is a different year? Yeah. Say it with me. Lift your hand and say, this is my year. This is a year. That God has given me an open door. I am receiving the revelation uh, that I have a determination. I am not giving up this year. I'm holding on. Hallelujah. Come on. Uh, I want you to prophesy over yourself and say, in the name of Jesus, uh, what God has opened, no man can shut. Hallelujah. I have a door. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Amen. Uh, I know that the adversaries are the door. Uh, the Bible says when, by, when, let me get in the Bible. The Bible says that God's small Cain. He said, Cain, you know something? Uh, 
there's an enemy at your door, you know, but you had the power to open the door, shut the door. Amen. There's a dog at the door. Are you hearing me in Genesis? Amen. He said there is a dog at the door and he's waiting to come in. And if you could just understand what is at the door. So I'm going to tell you something in the spirit realm. Are you hearing me? Amen. Adversaries at the door. Say amen. Some, any, some of your enemies are... Uh, you inherit them. You didn't know. I just know why the Lord is telling me. Some of you have enemies that you inherit from your father. Father, father, you, they just hated your family line. They just hated your name. They just hated your face. Am I talking to anybody? Amen. Uh, you just don't know why, but there is something about you because when there is destiny upon your life and there is a reason that God has kept you in this place uh, because the enemy saw you at the open door, so he started shutting gates early in your life. Uh, he started putting things in place to discourage you, uh, and cause, but you kept on pressing on. Amen. Uh, you have arrived at the door. Amen. You have arrived. Amen. Somebody say elevation. elevation. Say it again. Elevation. I don't want to see Christianity. I, I can't. I can't. I can't sit down and, and see God's people uh, uh, doing things that is not right. You have to understand. You have to get into the mindset. Amen. That you have an open door. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let's pray a little bit. I just need to pray here. Father, there are enemies at the door this year. Sometimes your own flesh and blood is trying their best. And I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God, you give me a word right now, and I'm just letting it be. Can somebody just go and just play a little something for me? I just, I just felt the spirit of the Lord. I, I don't know. This is a different kind of service. Amen. This is very weird. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands if you can. And say, Father, I... I pray the word into my spirit. I pray the word into my ear. I pray the word into my walk today. I pray the word of God into my being. I wanna, I wanna, I just want to hear a message. I can't preach. I can't preach until somebody opened the door. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and I'm knocking. I'm knocking at the hard door. And if you could just open the door of your heart and says, Come in, come in, hallelujah. I welcome the word of God in my heart. I welcome healing in my body. I am not, I am not cancer stricken. I am not a diabetic. I am a child of the king. I know, I know uh, that the door is open for me. Uh, there are no prison. There are no prison that can be built uh, to hold a man that is set free. The Bible says, whom the son set free uh, is free indeed. Hallelujah. So I'm speaking to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I just thank you for something supernatural here. I didn't come here to, to really get anybody to, 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 to pat me on my back and says, well done. I came to set somebody free. Amen. There were many doors in the Bible, but I found a very deep revelation when I was in Israel, and I want to share that with you from the book of Psalms 24. Because Psalms 24 is a strategic book, because a chapter, sorry, because in Psalms 24, we have Psalms 23. Somebody say amen. And Psalms 23 talks about the Lord is my shepherd. Are you there with me? And Psalms 22 says, we have the crucifixion of Jesus. And it starts with this, Eloi, Eloi, lamana ai, sabatna ai, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? It is about Jesus on the cross. Amen. Yeah. And Jesus on the cross, move from Jesus on the cross to Jesus as my shepherd. And then Psalms 24 comes in. With a tremendous revelation. So let me just start off by saying, He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Say, He's a Christ. He is a Christ of yesterday, today, and forever. Yesterday, He was a dying lamb. Today, he is a good shepherd. Tomorrow, he is the king of kings. Amen. Let's talk about it. So, there was a celebration at Jesus' death. And the principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places started to gloat and says, See, that pretender 
that one who feel that he could have come down here and conquered us look what we did to him we conquered him like we conquered the rest of them and he was they were gloating and they were sitting there were two principalities talking once was uh, the spirit of death and the grave i hear me they were having a conversation of how they extinguished and how they were able to conquer amen and while they was talking a voice came saying open the gates this is not the gates in jerusalem this is ancient gates amen these gates have been shut tight that no man could go out or in amen but he was on the other side and he says in matthew uh, in psalms 24 am i talking to anybody open the gate psalms 24 says who is it why should i open the gate he says open the gate and let the king of glory come in they kill a lamb they kill a body but they didn't know what was happening underneath i'm talking to somebody hey, open the gate and let the king the voice came back and said who is this king of glory tell me read your bible you have your bible open the gate the invisible ancient gate when nobody could have opened nobody has the power but now he's saying listen i'm coming in there i'm coming in your territory and say open the gate and let the king of glory come in who is this king of glory who is this mercy he is a Lord strong and mighty, hallelujah. The Lord mighty in battle, hallelujah. Come on. And he says, give me the keys. Give me the key. You don't have no key anymore, devil. Give me the key. Put it in his pocket. First gate. First gate. The gate of the graveyard, amen. Give me the keys of hell and of death, amen. Took the grace of shawl, amen, hell. Then he goes a little further. There's another gate you don't know about that one. And he goes again and says, open the gate. And it says, who have reached this point here now? Open the gate and let the what? You'll have it, Pastor Mickey, Psalms 24. You read it for me. You read it for me. Oh, lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. I want to dance here. Can I help somebody? Hallelujah. Hey, the king of glory is in the building. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Revelation chapter 1, right? We have much time. Revelation chapter 1. When Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't boast about raising from the dead. He rose and said, Behold, I am he that was dead, but I have the keys of hell and of the death. I want to give him praise. Hallelujah. He boasted that I am the one that has the keys. Amen. You getting this? You getting this? Turn to somebody and says, No grave shall hold my body. No devil can hold me down. No sickness can tie me down. Nobody can hold me down. If he rose, I will rise again. Give me praise and glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Buddha doesn't have it. Muhammad doesn't have it. None of those pretenders have it. They did good thing, they said good thing, but only one has it. I am he that was dead, and behold, I have the keys of hell and of death. Amen. And whatever he loose is loose. And you are free this morning by the blood of Jesus. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Walk in revelation, sister. I was at the bedside. 
of a few people when they pass this world on. And one of them, they're in church, but they were so scared of death. And like, ah, and their face was in horror. Another was like, I'm trying to tell because they had no word. They didn't know no rev- They didn't understand that there's no death for a believer. It's not the believer die. It's death that dies. Come on, I'm telling you somebody here, amen. It's not you dying, it's death dying. It no longer has dominion over you. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. And God bless my mom. I was there when she was leaving this world. She was a Christian for over all her life. She was persecuted. She had to go through the worst of violence to stay the course because she stayed on what God said. Amen. And as she was passing from this world to the next, I looked at her face. I want to know what was going on. I want to know if this thing is real. Okay, amen. You could be hearing all this talk. And one of the most joyful smile overwhelmed her face telling me, bye. The king is calling. Somebody, I know I'm talking with you. She dismissed her spirit and entered into the glory. She didn't went to the grave. She did not went to hell. She went to the king of glory. Are there anybody loving the word of God this morning? Amen. Just wave your hands. She taught me a song. As she was lying on her bed, she says, Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be in Jesus. But what? But to trust and let that song open up your spirit right now. We're going to finish it. Lift your hand and say, Trust and obey. There's no other way. There is no other way to be happy. To be happy in Jesus. But to trust. In the light of his word, what a glory he shed! What a glory he shed! What a glorious year is coming upon you! Somebody say, Hey man, me through his good will. He abides with us still, he abides with us. Hallelujah. Oh, who will trust and stay on what God say and you will see what he's going to do this year. Come on. Trust everybody. Come on. Open the heavens with your worship now. Open the heavens in the spirit. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of the service. God is good. Amen. I want to pray over this brother before I pray over him. He produced a book for us. It's the ultimate handbook to get through 2024. It's all scripture, the 24 chapters of songs, and almost every verse that in that is the 24th verse. It is powerful, it is prophetic. And he wants to give it to you free. But if you can make a donation, we got 60 copies right now. So at the end of the service, his wife and I will be outside. He's not asking you. He's not charging you for it. But if you can make a donation to offset the cost, we appreciate it. Only six of it. And if you're really nice and smile, he might even come out and autograph. If he, if he don't autograph it today, he'll come back, bring it with you, and say, can you autograph it? But we love you, brother. We want to pray over you on that word right now. Let's just pray over this brother that's your anointing.
right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, such a dynamic word. Lift up your heads over your gates. Be lifted up your everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall, shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of Glory. Lift up your doors over your gates. Lift up your everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. So Lord, we thank you for Pastor Simon right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for his anointing, Lord. Thank you for his obedience and his yielding to your spirit, O oh Lord, as you continue to bless him, Lord. Lord, we pray over this, this ultimate handbook right now as he dedicated it back to you. That it be a blessing to many, O oh Lord. A blessing to many. In Jesus' name.